All right, welcome everybody. This is Google Summer of Code Office Hours. Uh, the intent here is to let you ask questions. Uh, reminder from the outset, we follow the Jenkins Code of Conduct. Be nice to each other, be kind, be decent, etc. So what questions do you have? Hello, and uh, thanks for this year, uh, Summer of Code again. Uh, and uh, I want to say thanks for the, uh, I also got uh, the previous year uh, some branding, branding stuff. Yeah. Uh, my question is uh, the following. Um, as, as far as I understood, this year, Google is uh, the time requirement. Am I right that uh, uh, I need to work on my project at least 10 hours a week or less? Uh, could you please clarify? I believe that I believe the documents say that they're expecting over the course of two months, 175 hours. And so uh, Let's see, let's work that out. That I think that works to roughly 20 hours a week, week rather than 10 hours a week, but it's significantly less than their expectation in prior years where I think their expectation was three months of 40 hours a week. Uh, so, so I believe it's, it's roughly half time and the number I had heard was 175 across a two month project plus community bonding. So, so now, Alex, I, let's maybe what we should do is let's look at the document from Google. Uh, rather than just I my, think you're my right. I, 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 I saw it. I just did not calculate it properly uh, for this kind of uh, thing. Yeah, I have this time, and uh, uh, I have interesting question actually. Will uh, like like this uh, on the project which I'm applying to, I probably need some in for expanding it. I probably need to access uh, to the public clouds like uh, Microsoft Azure and uh, GCP and uh, that one. Yeah, uh, from Amazon. Uh, at the moment, I set up uh, I, I previously set up Asia I have some subscription student subscription I will um, I will work without with, with Google but uh, Amazon I, I stuck with some uh, they need additional papers for students uh, subscription or something to use uh, the question is uh, is uh, Jenkins community in some way could help with, with this kind of problem if, if it if it arise a good question a very good question so so i'm gonna i'm gonna rephrase it back to you in forms that we've had in the past we've had yeah. cases where we needed to document jenkins on kubernetes as an example as part of google season of docs and as part of that effort we needed access to clouds to to kubernetes providers there so same thing here for google summer of code and what we did was we found the first preference was find, uh, try, try to use the donation from the, from the cloud provider. If you've got a, if you can run a trial account, great. Uh, second was get a donation from, from other organizations in, in the specific example, CloudBees donated. And third is we could ask the Jenkins project itself from its budget to fund a portion of, uh, to fund the cloud expenses. Now, Oleg, Oleg has arrived and can give me guidance if I've given a bad answer in terms of what, what about the cloud projects, the cloud-centered projects that are being proposed. They'll need cloud resources. Oleg, you want to give yeah, some guidance there? Uh, half of the response, uh, but generally uh, the options you described uh, are ones we have. So we don't expect students to pay for cloud resources for sure. Uh, we will find a way, though it really depends on the amount. Because one thing, if you just need um, a few virtual machines or a few containers for testing, 
but if you need a huge cluster to do whatever uh, high performance computations, etc., it's a completely different topic. But if you talk about um, several hundreds or why in thousand dollars, yeah, of course we can find a way. Uh, thanks for answer, Oleg. I mean, what could you please estimate the probable time when I, for example, if I if I make this kind of request? when it will be available for me or for other student uh, to use just uh, okay for the infrastructure yeah uh, yes so for that um, we usually use community bonding time so during ah, okay. community bonding we reach out to the teams and ask a few questions and we expect all teams to ensure that uh, they have access to all the required infrastructure, project permissions, et cetera, before the coding starts. And it means uh, yeah, infrastructure access would be uh, one of the topics there. Of great, great, okay, one month. Before coding uh, period, for example, during the application period, well, it's a bit more complicated, especially since we have one week left. Okay, thanks. Uh, actually, this is a question for everybody, for other participants as well. I just opened the uh, student's registration form and I have a, a light blue sign around eligibility. So is it passed from the previous year or uh, do, could somebody tell me, uh, is it the same for your or is it not the same? You mean the blue side uh, sign on the summary of this code? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, summary so of this code. That, uh, I would recommend to contact uh, the JSOC support team because uh, we don't have access to the student view. Uh, ah. Well, uh, some of our mentors used to be students before, but for example, in my case, I have no idea how this view looks like. And pretty much it... the same uh, for certificate of uh, enrollment uh, and other things. So if you have a question about formalities and eligibility, you should really reach out um, to uh, Google Summer of Code support team because uh, they make the final decision on that and they can provide information. Oh, okay. Okay. That's all questions for now from me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And yeah, for Oleg. Um, hi, Oleg. And uh, yeah, Mark, yeah. just... Um, and Mark just um, reviewed my bone fat. Can you please just have a look at it? That would be also great. Yeah, it's basically the same as I said uh, right a few minutes ago. It's oh. something to discuss with the JSOC support team. Oh, so okay. what uh, okay. we verify and uh, is for students who study in the United States and who don't have a local residence permit or citizenship, then we verify the permit uh, to participate in JSOC because we know for mm -hmm. a fact that uh, there is a pitfall there, which we hit uh, once three years ago or so. But uh, all other eligibility concerns uh, should be discussed with JSOC support. I mm -hmm. understand it. And then I will just, um, as soon as possible, I will submit it and uh, wait for them response. Okay. Yeah, right. Thank you. Now, Oleg Nivedita had also had a question earlier on that I gave a, a, a potentially flawed and inaccurate answer to. So Nivedita, do you want to ask your question now? Yeah, uh, hi Oleg, I just uh, want to confirm that instead of bonafide, can we submit our transcript because transcript is also the proof that we are the university student. I believe it's the same. So again, uh, we as a Jenkins project, we don't verify your eligibility. So we can uh, take a look, but uh, our answer wouldn't be a definite one. So please contact uh, the JSOC support team. Okay, okay, sure. Thank you. Yeah, I know that eligibility is more complicated this year because they expanded uh, the scope of for eligible um, enrollments, including various uh, terms and other programs. So there will be likely a lot of such questions uh, this year. And yeah, most likely they will update the guidelines based on uh, the feedback. But 
uh, yeah, please be patient uh, with it because yeah, it's just the first year when uh, the current scope applies. So yeah, in many cases, it would be decided just based well, on a case by case basis. I'm eligible to participate in JSOC as well as a student, by the way. Probably I should reconsider my plans. <laughs> hmm. No, I won't. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I didn't didn't know you were at a university. That's great. That's cool. I, well, I do some courses, which, yeah. is, which also makes me eligible this year. Oh, Mark, he, he's doing machine learning courses. Uh, so he's also eligible to become hey, a GSOC student. Right. Uh, I'll invite Mark here. Any, any other questions? Um, yes, there is another one. I'm just stated. Uh, so the project which I'm applying to is uh, under umbrella of uh, uh the guys from virtus lab mainly right. and there is there is a uh, yes uh, mentors from there uh what do you think should i invite them in regular jenkins meeting or tomorrow will be the additional meeting uh, among the team which i i'm going to participate but mm -hmm. should i invite them here as well or did, do, do they know about this and maybe yes, they don't have time? Uh, do know about that meeting. At the same time, uh, mentors are not required to participate in this meeting. This meeting is office hours for those who are interested, but uh, the main communication channel sites in front of us ones like chats and the mailing list. Uh, so specifically about Jenkins Kubernetes operator, uh, there are, uh, yeah, there is a meeting you mentioned uh, tomorrow. Hopefully it will happen. And if anyone else is interested to participate, uh, yeah, it's a great opportunity to discuss that. Also, there is a cloud native uh, special interest group meeting uh, happening uh, on Fridays. And they, we also have representatives uh, from the Jenkins Kubernetes Operator project. So, yeah. Uh so, uh, Alec, you t uh, saw this cloud uh, Jenkins meeting. Uh, uh, it's stated in uh, all meeting board, right? So I could sign up for this without yeah. any problem if I need. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Jenkins IO slash events, there you can find it in the calendar with, well, the most of our meetings. Um, Oleg, um, I have a question regarding the comment I have to leave in my proposal for um, cloud events for Jenkins. So in there that you stated that for a listening of for cloud events, you said it would be nicer to expand a section a bit more. So what I what I mean what should I I mean what you are expecting? Can you please elaborate much? Yeah. So when we talk about events or so messaging. Mm -hmm. uh, the question is actually about uh, the information you are going to pass, because mm -hmm. uh, sending uh, an event like build started is definitely not enough uh, for external system to process this event. You would need, mm -hmm. for example, to pass build name, maybe build ID, maybe some additional information, mm -hmm. um, and pretty much the same for any other event in the system. Mm -hmm. So just uh, defining a name on the event, it's a good start, but it makes sense to actually expand uh, what data you would like to pass, because mm -hmm. in such cases, well, firstly, you can think about the use cases uh, for your integration. And secondly, mm -hmm. yeah, you can just take a look at existing systems like AFL and uh, yeah, maybe uh, get some inspiration from there. Okay, okay. And so this is about the um a meeting part and what about listening part should i um the, the, currently what you said is about listening a meeting part right a meeting of cloud events so you said yeah. uh, explain much more about the data period how it's going to look like and you know mm -hmm. and what um, what should i then um expand more about the listening part you said there is a comment from you on that so it's similar is like um i how can i how i'm going to proceed that payload is it 
that's what i'm i need to expand on that to uh, trigger any particular job is it yeah again it depends on use cases because in your case if i recall your proposal correctly you defined two parts so first the jenkins sending cloud events mm -hmm. and second yes. jenkins reacting to cloud events mm -hmm. so you would need to expand both parts right, in such case and you're okay. going to work with Garrett, uh, with VPUF uh, to define uh, what is would be the expected interface. And yeah, my recommendation would be to start from the use cases. Okay. Because okay. from that, you can define interfaces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I'll, I, even I looked into the static gatherer plugin, I take the inspiration from there for the emitting part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Now, Nivedita, you you mentioned in the in the chat that you're looking for feedback on your proposal. Um, I'm not sure that I've seen that proposal. Has it been? Has a link been posted to it in the GSOC SIG uh, Gitter channel? And if not, could you post it there? Yeah, they posted in GSOC channel and even in uh, G Google GSOC group also. Great. Thank you. Okay, and and the topic of your proposal was it cloud events? Was it which, which was which specific area? I'm trying to check to see if it's something that I could actually do a review on and feel like I was credible, or if we need to have others do that. Yeah, it's it's on cloud events plugin for Jenkins. Super. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah, regarding the proposals, what we were doing during the last years, uh, we as Oracle means uh, created the Google Doc with uh, the list of all uh, proposal drafts submitted by students, so that we could uh, process and track the status. Because yeah, what sometimes happens, uh, the docs get lost uh, um, in the threads, and now we just have one week left until the application deadline. So maybe just having this list uh, would be a good improvement. W would you like me to start that kind of a document? Oh, like I, that's a good idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I sh clearly should have. Well, uh, you discussed it with Kara, but uh, yeah, if you want uh, to start that, uh, just do that. Yeah, that's. Kara I think that's is a, currently busy with other stuff. Right. So. I just remember one small question. Uh, uh, there was some specific uh, Slack channel from CD Foundation, which mm -hmm. requires special email address. Uh, is there any success with assessing yeah, it? Success, actually, I spent some time on Monday to figure it out. So if you go to, Gen just a second, I will share the link in the chat. Uh, but yeah, we figured it out. So now you can join with any email and it has been verified. So just a second, yeah, I shared the link in the chat. They will duplicate it uh, in the guitar. Thank you so much. Happy to help. Yeah, and, and I can reiterate Oleg's right. We just had several several contributors arrive for a different project that were able to successfully register with the CDF Slack channel. So it, it's working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So any if you experience uh, any infrastructure issues like that, just let us know because we don't always know about them. We registered in the CDF Slack two years ago and we haven't seen this update. So any issue, just let us know and we will figure it out. Uh, I have a question regarding the proposals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like this year uh, Jenkins is under the umbrella of uh, CDF. So uh, like whatever the format we have given as for the proposals, 
like is it okay or do we have to mention also mention that it is for uh, cdf or anything like that no you don't have to mention that when you apply to gsoc you apply to a specific organization so yeah. you will need to submit your proposal draft uh, to the continuous delivery foundation and then uh, org admins will uh, route it properly to mentors uh, etc so there is some yet to be discovered process how we, for example we'll balance uh, projects between uh, uh participants because there are multiple uh, cdf projects participating under the same umbrella uh, but for students you just apply and the rest uh, is for us to handle all right okay thank you yeah also note that uh, yeah there are multiple uh, uh so if i recall correctly this year every student can submit three different proposals uh, and what you should keep in mind that these three different proposals can be to a single organization or to multiple organizations. So, for example, if you want to apply, let's say, to Jenkins and to Tipton project, it's possible, or to Jenkins and Spinnaker, or maybe to Jenkins and a different organization, it's also possible. So, even if you apply to CDF, you are not limited uh, to apply just for Jenkins. You can choose your options. Uh, yeah. if you want to, to spend time on multiple proposals. Okay, regarding, uh, regarding some proposal stuff, I have a small question, like, uh, should I uh, add additional information what is actually uh, Jenkins operator and how it's working, like take some information from Virtus Lab uh, presentations and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I actually don't know. Oh, what's, what's, what's actually mm, the size in, in, the in sheets approximately? Yeah. Uh, so there is no specific size, requir size requirement. Again, uh, the main purpose of this uh, project proposal is uh, to communicate uh, the idea you have, deliverables you plan uh, to deliver, and the approximate timeline. And yeah, showing uh, potential mentors uh, your expertise and that you are capable of delivering on this project idea. Uh, there is no specific size, though if you take a look at the template, it's likely something like at least two pages. And we definitely don't recommend spending too much time because uh, yeah, I guess uh, the biggest proposal we had was about 40 pages. And I'm not sure that any mentor except me managed to read it entirely, but uh, yeah, so just, uh, you don't have to spend too much time uh, and uh, well, uh, uh, on the paper, because if you want, you can, for example, experiment with code, do some prototypes, etc. It's more important than just text, and you don't have to provide full specification, etc. Because for that, uh, there will be community funding and coding phases. So, just yeah, your goal is to basically show that you know what to work on. Uh, to show the community value of that and to prove that you can deliver on this project. Basically, that's it. Does it answer your question? Absolutely. Hi, Hi Ray. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah, I'm trying to, I wrote a proposal about the remoting monitoring. Mm -hmm. And well, you, you, you make a review of my paper and you said, uh, I may, I might should, I might um, set up my plugins with Java agent because uh, Java agent can, uh, because it, it can enable monitoring system to start up without connecting to master nodes. So, mm -hmm. but uh, I think I like Jenkins because 
it has very good plugin system and uh, system admin can uh, start up a new feature without uh, any difficulties. But uh, starting agent with agent Java agent is a little bit difficult for system admins, I think. So what do you think of and uh, do you do you know any other uh, such kind of plugins? I mean, uh, to hack the startup phase of the agent. Yeah, so for agents, uh, there are, well, uh, okay, so just to explain uh, my concern, which I communicated in the Google Doc. So when you want to monitor the agent, uh, if you rely on the payload to be provided by Jenkins, it means that you should connect to the system at least once. Yeah. Um, and yeah, in some cases, it might be a problem. For example, in Jenkins, there are two types of agents. One is outbound agents, when Jenkins mm -hmm. initiates the connection. Another type is inbound agent, when the agent connects to the Jenkins controller. And for the latter type, uh, yeah, until it connects, basically you won't uh, be doing monitoring because you cannot uh, provide this data. Uh, so, well, you definitely use um, Jenkins-based initialization. Uh, there are some plugins which initiate functionality when connecting to agents, uh, but actually not that much. You can take a look at uh, plugins like uh, monitoring plugin. So monitoring plugin, uh, it basically wraps Java Melody. Uh, Java Melody is a JMX-based uh, monitoring API. And it also does installation uh, on the agent side. So it's probably the first plugin you would like to review. Okay. Uh, uh, but yeah, again, I do not recall how, how exactly it uh, does uh, the agent installation. Uh, just, I'll send you a link. Uh, the monitoring is something you may want to review anyway, because yeah, it's basically already about monitoring of system resources, etc. And it's quite a popular plugin. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I know what, what you concerned about, but uh my from my from my horrible experience uh we use the monitoring system uh, for uh long term long term long term uh, long term check in for the system i mean the travel shooting like and fast for the fast connection is uh is is responsible of the rogue, rogue systems or something like that. And monitoring system is is uh, not is not suitable for uh, checking uh, to troubleshoot the fast connection. So uh, I, in my, in my, uh, I, 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 it, it might be my is my fault, but I I uh, I, I think so. But what do you what do you think so? What what do you think of it? This. Okay. Yeah, so in technology, there is really a different answer. Uh, there are, might be different approaches and uh, different approaches uh, will have their own merits. So when you work on the proposal, uh, basically what you can do, you can uh, make your own decision and justify that. And uh, that's uh, your objective. So it doesn't. it's not necessary that uh, the mentors uh, I would totally agree with that. Um, okay. And uh, again, it's something for discussion in later phases. Okay. Um, but uh, we, you make a proposal and if it's justified, it's perfectly fine. For example, uh, when I was working, I uh, use uh, uh, um, uh, Farm uh, Vuitton uh, in 2018. He was working uh, actually again on remoting, uh, but yeah, it was, um, uh, remote of Apache Kafka and there we had uh, some discussions because uh, the original uh, proposal was to use the message bus preferably uh, RabbitMQ because the mentors agreed that it would be the preferable solution but uh, the student uh, came up with a proposal to use Apache Kafka he justified that and well, finally it worked pretty well 
Okay. So, yeah, mentors, they provide advice. They definitely provide some sanity check, etc. But if you feel strongly about a concrete technical decision, uh, feel free to do that. It doesn't have to be fully aligned with uh, the project idea. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to discuss with you more later. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to have special sessions about particular project ideas, we could organize them. I just send a message to the mailing list or to the chat so that we uh, make it happen. I see. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions you would like to discuss today? Looks like not. Okay, I guess uh, then we will join Garrett uh, at the meeting. Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, uh, everyone. Again, if you have any questions, please don't wait until Wednesday, because Wednesday it, it will be April 14th, so it will be beyond the application deadline. Um, and yeah, all asynchronous chats are available, and the, if needed, we can organize additional sessions on a project basis. Thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you very much.